Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne and in this video I'm going to look at the batch transcription service again. I'll have a look at what effect changing the punctuation mode property will have on my output. Property accepts four values, none automatic, dictated and dictated and automatic. Now I can accurately guess what setting the property to none will do. And I think it's fair to say that this will function as expected. So I'm not going to test that in this video. I'm going to test the other three though. And to do so, I'll use one of my favourite wrestling promos from the best in the world, CM Punk. Running the audio of CM Punk's infamous pipe bomb promo through the batch transcription service with punctuation mode set to automatic produces a text file like this. We find that there's punctuation in the file including full stops and question marks. Now let's see what happens if we take the same audio clip and we change the punctuation property to dictated. Well, we don't get any punctuation at all. So what does dictated mean? Well, it means in order to recognise the punctuation, we need to explicitly speak that punctuation in the audio clip. So that's what I've done. I've took a section of the promo and I've read it out myself and I've explicitly spoken where the punctuation should be. That's right, comma, I'm a Paul Heyman guy, full stop. You know who else is a Paul Heyman guy? Question mark. Brock Lesnar, exclamation mark. I've also added an exclamation mark in there at the end, out of curiosity, just to see what happens. So let's run that through the flow again, with the punctuation mode set to dictate. The result we get was really interesting. It's recognised the comma, the question mark and the exclamation mark. It didn't recognise the full stop though. Maybe that's something to do with my accent, or maybe there's, uh, I'd have to use the American term, period. For the next experiment, I'm going to record the promo again. This time I'll only explicitly speak the exclamation mark at the end. And I'll run it through the flow and I'll set the punctuation mode property to dictated and automatic. Don't worry, I'll spare you the promo this time. The results we get are superb. It recognises my punctuation automatically and it also recognises the explicitly dictated exclamation mark at the end, despite me not roaring the name Brock Lesnar into the mic. So let's bring this back into how we can use the punctuation mode property in our business applications. Well, I would use automatic mainly in my business applications because I want the users who are reading the transcript to get a feeling for the tone of the audio. I honestly can't think of a scenario where I would set the property to dictated or even dictated and automatic. The only time I would want to dictate my punctuation would be if I was already reading a transcript or other literature and then I'd probably want some immediate feedback, I'd probably want to see that on the screen as I read it. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a use for dictated punctuation in business applications. If you can think of a use then please just let me in the community know by leaving some comments on the YouTube channel or the YouTube video or reaching out to me on LinkedIn or Twitter. That's all from me from this video. Till next time, blue skies.